Can you believe it? Our first Contagious Optimism Live. I am blessed with a wonderful, wonderful team. You guys deserve a round of applause. <laughs> Not me. Okay, so whenever I speak, I like to conduct a little drill. Just bear with me. On the count of three, I want everyone to say, I am psyched. But you have to say it like you mean it. For those of you that don't know the definition, psyched means happy and enthusiastic at the same time. All right? Sort of like elated, but on steroids. OK? Ready? One, two, three. I am psyched. Awesome. Awesome. OK. Rip and psyched. People say to me all the time, David, I'm not an optimist. I'm a realist. I always laugh, and I always respond. You can be both, and you should be both. They're not mutually exclusive. If you're just optimistic and nothing else, you're in the clouds. You're daydreaming. If you're just realistic, and nothing else, you won't get past first base. But when you combine effort, reality, and positive thinking, that's when the magic happens. That's when success veers its beautiful head. Contagious optimism. It's not just the title to a book series. It's what happens when you're positive and then naturally share that positive energy with everyone around you. Contagious optimism is based on the idea of positive forward thinking, which is the ability to find the silver lining in every cloud, apply it to yesterday or today with the confidence that tomorrow will be better. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So we've all heard the expression, you can't change the past, right? We've heard it a million times. Well, if that's the case, why not make it an educational tool? No different than when you first learned to ride a bike. A lot of people don't realize that the byproduct of success and the byproduct of failure are the same word, wisdom. Wisdom is a gift gained from the past that serves as the foundation of our future. And if we share it with others, we're helping them on their life's journey as well. So you're probably asking yourself, what made David write this book series and start this movement? I mean, you don't just wake up in the morning and say, hey, I'm going to write a book and capture stories from people all over the globe. It's a great question. Growing up the youngest, my parents are here, by the way, yeah. mom and dad. Yeah. And my aunt, my godmother, my mom's sister, Aunt Mildred. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Growing up the youngest, I spent a lot of time with older relatives and older family friends. And I was always amazed by their stories. I never let that go. And when I look back, I realize that all their stories have three things in common. They all start out with some type of adversity or obstacle. They all have an element of perseverance. And they all end with wisdom that was gained and ultimately shared. So when my alma mater, Fairfield University in Connecticut, had been asking me for years to consider writing a book on the importance of optimism and positive thinking in business. Well, by 2010, I said, you know what? I'm ready to do it. But let's not just make it about me. Let's make it about lots of people. And not just business, but many of life's themes, including business. <clears throat> and let's take it a step further in terms of education. Let's make it a class project every year 
so that students can have a real life working experience on a published book series. That, in summary, is how contagious optimism came to be. So over the course of this project, we have captured thousands and thousands of stories from people all over the globe. And what we have learned is that when people are going through tough times, they tend to think they're alone. But when they hear stories of how others have persevered, it gives them hope. And hope is that foundation of optimism across many of life's themes. So I could stand up here for days, weeks, and even months reciting these stories. But so can you. Because each and every one of us has stories about ourselves and stories about people we know. The key is understanding that what you may consider boring or uneventful is actually inspirational and motivational to others around the globe. Why? Well, because I believe we are all naturally mentors just by the sheer impression of our footsteps. Now, when you have lots of footsteps and lots of people, you have a movement which I believe contagious optimism has become, a movement. Now, a movement doesn't just happen because a risk-taking entrepreneur decided to take a chance. Not at all. As a matter of fact, that risk-taking entrepreneur is simply a lone nut <laughs> by himself. The true leaders in a movement are you the people that are here today. Because you came out to take a chance on something you haven't seen before. You're the leaders. And we thank you for that. And we are confident that you will leave here extremely optimistic and hopefully very contagious in a good way, the good kind of contagious. Thank you. <laughs>